May I come inside? Yeah, please, please come. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, good how afternoon. are you? Good afternoon. Uh, PSIR is the optional, correct? Yes, sir. You, rural government job aspirants. Yes. Sir. What's a rural government? So uh, I teach government job aspirants from rural areas. But the words are rural. Okay, rural government. Job, job government job aspirants. aspirants. All right, that way. Uh, because of what you wrote, what's the difference between federalism and uh, democratic decentralization? Uh, sir, difference between federalism, federalism and yes. democratic decentralization. Uh, sir, uh, federalism is between two governments, that is federal government and regional government. Democratic decentralization focus on principle of subsidiarity. It keeps in principle Which? of subsidiarity uh, and it uh, keeps in the third tier of the government in mind. Uh, there is one more fundamental thing about federalism. What is it? Uh, so dual polity, independent judiciary and written constitution. These three would be the major features of Can you be a bit more specific at, about what I am asking? Sir, uh, both, should... both derive their independent powers from the constitution, unlike yes. Panjati Raj and municipal bodies. Yes. Correct? Yes. Uh, You have to, my next question, you have to answer this way or that way. You don't have to say both or none. Yes, sir, I will. Which service plays a more vital role, the civil account service or the audit account service? Uh, so they both have the important role to play in the exhibition. I said don't say both. So they, So one keeps the account and one does the audit of it. That I know. <laughs> so I would say audit and account. Why? So I would say civil accounts. And I've got my own reasons for that. Why do you say audit and account? Uh, sir, uh, audit and account, uh, the C and AG, they do the third party audit of the accounts and the functioning of the government. They who place does, major who does the running audit? Sir? Running audit is done by whom? Uh, internal audit is done by... Civil accounts. Civil accounts. Yes. So why is post expenditure audit more important than running audit? Uh, sir, internal audit majorly plays the role of aid to management. They are done by the department itself. So they report back to within the department and they look into internal controls more. But C and AJ audit, that is independent audit, which <coughs> plays major role in establishing the accountability part of the government and its report is presented to president and in turn which is presented to parliament. So it plays Why do you think the CGA was not made a constitutional authority? Sir, uh, CGA is part of the executive. So, I before departmentalization, C and AG used to look into audit and accounts both. After departmentalization, account has, accounting has been bifurcated and given a separate department. Now, the CAG has got a very fancy name, Comptroller and Auditor General. Yes. In spite of the fact that he has no controller functions, yes. none. Yes. So, why do we have this fancy designation? Uh, sir, I do agree with the fact that we, we don't have the controller function as does the UK, the CAG in UK has. So, it's just convention which we are following, we are adding the name, but it but you do, doesn't do the But don't you think it's a misnomer, it sort of misguides people who don't know. Should the name not be changed to Auditor General? So, I would say this, it just signifies that he also controls the expenditure and have accountability. How, how does he control the expenditure? By establishing accountability, because the government had to submit action taken report, each minister and department upon the paragraph written in the audit. My last question. The CAG, in spite of being a constitutional body, is are you saying he is directly connected to the Department of Expenditure? Uh, no, sir. He is independent. CGA is? CGA is. And CAG? 
CAG is a constitutional body. In I know that, but the most direct connection is to which department of the Ministry of Finance? Sir, it's an independent body and they, uh, I have linked to the Public Accounts Committee, which is Standing Committee of Legislature. I am saying which department of the Ministry of Finance. Are you getting my question or not getting yes. my question? I, I am getting, sir. I am think, I think it's Department of Economic Affairs, but I have to look here. Fine. Thank you, sir. Okay. Pramod. Yes, sir. International Court of Justice yes. is not effective. <coughs> yes. Why so? Sir, uh, the, ma the judgments of the International Court of Justice is implemented at the national level and each nation keeps its national interest first and they an internal court of justice that doesn't have its own enforcement agency as such so even though it's the law body of the un it doesn't have teeth or the power to enforce the judgments whose so, national interest um, hamas and israel war is take, uh, taking place uh, so South Africa had taken the case to international. No, no, no. Forget about the International Court of Justice. National interest. War is two major wars are fought now. Um, one war is even spreading here and there, and <coughs> the one war is Ukraine and Russia. Yes. Other one is Israel and Hamas. Yes. National interest of uh, Israel. National interest of Hamas, and. Any other national interest you find in these wars? Sir, uh, I would not say Hamas, I would not say it's a terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we don't consider it as national interest as such. But Palestine people as such have their own interest and cause. And uh, Israel's national interest would be its sustenance in the region. Why terrorism become, becomes an instrument of foreign policy for certain nations. Yes, sir. Oh. Uh, so we can give the example of Pakistan, which has the policy yes. of... Yes, why? My question is why? So because a complete war or conventional war phase brings destruction to both the countries. So, so they we... have a national interest. Yes, sir. They have an aspiration to be a nation. Yes. Now, I understand Israel, I understand the national interest of Palestine, we're a homeland for Palestinians, but somebody is giving weapons, somebody is giving aids, and the war is going on. Some more interests are there. Yes, sir. Which is that interest? Uh, sir, uh, within uh, the security architecture of Middle East, U USA, the major powers such as USA, China, and Iran, which is one of the major foreign <coughs> the list, which uses its proxies. So all these players are... Right Direct, there. straight away, national interest of uh, um, ammunition makers, no? Yes, yes, sir. They have the interest in prolonging now, the war. Uh, they have the interest. Yes. Their interest is taking place more than any other. Yes. So what is humanitarian human rights? Uh, sir, human rights are the rights which recognizes the human dignity. And when is, it is defined, how it is defined, where it is found? Uh, sir, human rights is defined and declared in Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And this no accepted uh, definition of human rights. There apart, is. There are from, all elements are clearly defined. Uh, sir, uh, it has a broader perspective. The human declaration of human rights defines human rights, but each country goes for its own definition and... No, no, no. It is not like that. Last question. Sovereignty, secularism, democracy, republicanism, which is more predominant in Indian constitution? All five elements, republicanism, everything. We have all the five elements. In which is the most important? <coughs> which makes India, India. So I would say democracy, democracy. Sovereignty. Okay, Pramod, 
you have opted for Indian audit and accounts means you prefer it service over the ICS. That's yes. why you have given it, right? Yes. You are already in civil accounts yes. and still you are opting for audit and accounts. Yes. You said uh, the CAG office does audit. Yes. But this service denotes Indian audit and accounts. They are doing both the functions, I hope. Uh, so they compile the accounts of the state governments as well. Okay. And uh, before the bifurcation, they are the accounting function of central government. So the name remained. Okay. For the audit and accounts. Okay, you are now part of the Ministry of Finance. Yes. You tell me what are the two major challenges of our Indian economy at the moment? Uh, so we have an economy of 4 trillion growing at a very good phase. So we need to sustain that. So for that the major challenge would be one is our reaping the benefits of demographic dividend which we have and other one would will be with respect to development of infrastructure. These two are the areas uh, which we need to focus on. For. What, what are your views about increasing inequity among the people? Is it not a challenge for us so that there is a less disparity among the people? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, inequality is one of the challenges. So, how, <coughs> how would you think we should approach to remove this disparity? So, we have the policy of taxation and we have the policy of welfare measures which goes for poverty alleviation uh, to help the uh, help the poor. We have some form of right to employment through Narega. We have right to food act, National Food Security Act. That's we, all we have. Still we are, this disparity is increasing. We have K-form, K-shape recovery. We have heard about it. Yes. You know? Yes. Still it is happening. So somewhere we are lacking, that's why it is happening. Sir, uh, K-shaped recovery, I would say, uh, statistical data has to be there to support it, but I do accept that some MSMEs or the self-employed persons had been uh, majorly hit due to pandemic. So there has the recovery may be in terms of K-shaped, but in the long run, we would recover from that. Another challenge is of debt. Yes. Anna? We are having facing a lot of debt, despite having good growth. Everything but debt is also increasing. How do you, how do we contain the debt? Uh, sir, uh, debt, debt sustainability has two, three dimension, dimension to it. Uh, whether our debt is internal or external. 90% of our debt, more than 90% of our debt is internal. And we, ha we have long term debts and our nation is growing at a very good rate. So I would say the present debt position as such doesn't pose the challenge, uh, but in the long... Uh, if what the, is the percentage of GDP we have debt? Uh, sir, for central government it's around 60% and... And overall? We, overall it will be around 90% of the GDP. So which is quite high. Don't you think it, is, it will can create a problem for us in the long run? Uh, sir, as I mentioned, the debt sustainability has various dimension to it. So our majority of our borrowing, if it is internal and we are growing okay. at a good phase. Let us leave it there. There is one of our institution or a body, FSDC. Yes, sir. What is that? Sir. It is Ministry Sorry, of Finance only. Yes, sir. No. Sir, fiscal stability and development. Who, fiscal fin stability. stability and development council. Yes, yes. Who is chairing this meeting so and who are the members of this uh, council? The so finance minister chairs the body yes, and, and they have representation from RBI, SEBI and various which relates to financial and monetary section. They have Financial regulators? Yes. Sir. How many financial regulators we have? Uh, sir, uh, I don't know the number. We have regulators with respect to insurance. We have regs regulator with respect What do we call insurance regulator? IR, uh, insurance regulator development authority. Of and India. PFRDA. Yes. We have SEBI, which regulates the okay. stock market. Thank you. Thank you. Pramod. Yes. <clears throat> now you are a district master of a mainly rural district. Yes. These days, government has bifurcated districts into like Kanpur, Dehat, or XYZ, rural, whatever. It's primarily more of village, huh? Now, it challenges to develop model villages. 
what all do you think should be done to develop a model village? So to develop a model village, the first strategy has to be implementation of all the schemes which are there from the government, proper implementation of that. That requires establishing accountability and uh, having proper cutting edge level bureaucracy which interacts with the citizen, having proper channel for that. That would be first measure. Second measure would be to boost the rural infrastructure in that village which acts as a model for other village for development. Third would be uh, to look into the comparative advantage that that village had and if there is any, for example, if there is any rural to urban migration happening in that village, we would look into providing employment in that village or around that area. Or if the pro if the village is pro facing problem with respect to panchayat or with respect to agriculture, we look into the various issues faced by that village. So these three areas will be looked at. Recently, the government uh, <coughs> issued some directives to X, formerly the Twitter. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me, what are they? And uh, do you agree with this line? Sir, social media is a tricky platform. It can be uh, used for positive and also negative because uh, even freedom of speech, has there has to be reasonable restriction on them as our constitution provides. So uh, the government's order were with, were with respect to those handles which were threatening India's territorial integrity or national security. If that is on that line, if the government is asking... No, it is in context of farmers' agitation. Yes, now, sir, they are the people of India putting a demand, a democratic process. Tell me. Uh, sir, if the farmers are protesting peacefully and they are expressing their views, uh, they have the freedom of speech and expression to do that. But if that is impacting India's national security, then there has to be uh, limits and restrictions on them. Do you think farmers' agitation is impacting India's national security? So, as such, on ground, we cannot say. But there are various angles to it. They may be funded by international bodies, which, which does not... Uh, support India's growth or India's, which are, uh, hamper India's security. And there are various angles to it. Okay, now suppose, suppose for one moment we uh, segregate everything, we can't just come to the issue. Yes. Suppose the demands are genuine, then? So, uh, then we should not corrupt their freedom of speech and expression. We have constitutional right for peaceful protest. No, in terms of the uh, restrictions on the social media. Uh, even in social media, sir, we should have some reasonable restrictions. But that should not be driven by the private sector. The private sector such as X should not be controlling who has the access to express or who doesn't. Okay. That should okay. be government okay. body. Okay. okay, thank you. Now tell me, what are your views on the freebies? Like the government sometimes says, state government's yes, definitely that so much of electricity is free, so much loan is waived off, so much ration is given to you. What are your views on this? Sir, uh, given the developmental stage of the country and the needs of the population, it is very difficult to segregate between the welfare measures and the freebies. So, I would say, sir, uh, if we can target the population which needs it more and if, if we are doing it for uh, genuine poverty alleviation, uh, keeping fiscal consolidation in mind, I would say that is a fail welfare measure. But if we are doing it, uh, not keeping fiscal consolidation in mind, and we are having so much of inclusion and exclusion errors, where we are not including the people who deserve, and we are excluding the people, sorry, we are including the people who doesn't deserve, and excluding the people who deserve. So then it becomes a freebie, and giving uh, door to everyone will not help the country. Okay. Thank you, Pramod. Yes. Pramod? Yes. Uh, mechanical engineering. Uh, when did you pass out? Sir, uh, I graduated in 2017. 17? Yes. How much of that do you remember? Sir, uh, uh, let's I let's remember, go to the basic things. Uh, I remember the basic, basic things. Basic things, yes. Sir, uh, what is the universal coupling? 
universal coupling coupling sorry sir i i don't remember and what is pitting sorry sir i don't remember hmm. uh, and uh, all right it's a very simple thing what is the alloy of uh, lead and tin called sorry sir i i have to read about it solder soldering solder um you know about auto cycle o double t o auto cycle sorry sir no okay uh which are the countries which are or which have joined the nato recently or about to join nato uh, so finland and sweden are the recent countries which are joined nato sweden has joined so, uh, that some test has been done by turkey and uh, it is finland is officially declared finland sweden. has joined yes. what about sweden uh, sweden's acceptance has been accepted by turkey so it is no but there was another country which was opposing it so he said uh, i don't know but i yesterday I, that country yes. also decided to pass a bill for this in their parliament which country is that sorry sir i don't know i just remember that okay you know you play ball badminton yes and table tennis yes sir i don't know about ball badminton but you know about the sport of badminton right yes. and have you been following some of it so i don't follow it as such i do play badminton but i don't follow shuttle badminton sir and uh, there is a name which has been coming in the papers and news recently sir i think chirag and sarthik they men's doubles men's and in just... the ladies something has happened very important in the recent in recent times 3 4 days ago ah uh, sorry sir i am not following all right uh IFS is your second choice. Yes. If you are given a choice to choose a language to learn in the foreign service, which language will you choose and why? Uh, sir, I would choose Chinese. Mandarin. Mandarin. Why? Uh, so, given the present geopolitical context, uh, right? Given that the world order is changing and rise of China is happening, hmm. and India has. major challenge with respect to china hmm. so if i learn chinese i it would be better for my career for the prospects hmm. and also for that service who are in the troika of g20 today these days so brazil is hosting brazil is hosting uh, brazil uh, india and malaysia the troika malaysia last hosted no last hosted was india yes sir before in no. the next one where is the next one being hosted so it is getting hosted in brazil mm, brazil is happening this year okay who is the present president yes. who is the next president sorry sir i am ready all right thank you what were your marks in your upsc interview so i scored 173 last time when i got into service but before that i scored less i scored 153 153 then 173 then 173 what improved uh sir i would uh, at that time i didn't have a job so i was more scared <laughs> even now i don't know i feel nervous sometimes but i have that today how, how did you perform today sir i was calm today uh, I just came running from another mob, <laughs> so I felt I may be nervous, but I I could uh, regain that calmness. What was the feedback in the other mock today? And they told me that uh, sometimes I look tense, and I have to smile more. I I have. Uh, they told me that I look tense in few of the questions, mm. and they told me to smile more. That keeps the environment pleasant. When your interview? Uh, it's on March fifth, sir. March fifth, <laughs> little bit of time. Yes. Sir. I think now you're smiling more. But sir, I I can't just <laughs> go there and smile. I don't know. I'm just I getting. I was just mocking the UPSC board. Uh, <laughs> there's uh, not uh, too much time for the 
हाँ. your interview. So I would not want to advise you, and because I already know you, yes. so I would request Manoj too. Yes. I already know him. I'm the moment yes. I saw him, I yes, <laughs> Pramod. Uh, you have already got 173. Yes. And we can safely say that you are better than 173 this yes. time. But if you uh, if you change a little bit, perhaps it will be much much better. Um, we are already in service. Everything is fine. So there is there should be no reason for you to lose any confidence. You go to the interview with full you know uh, knowledge of this that uh, this interview is going to be aced. I have nothing to lose, and I am going to do well. So. the confidence level has to be from this fact of your actual situation now the second thing is i found you still to be too keen to <coughs> too keen to give the answer and to please it should be factual whatever is the answer you give in crisp manner listen to the question absorb it give a moment or two to find out what it needs to be said and say it with full confidence you have a husky voice mm. so that uh, may cause uh, you some you know concern your own personal self i am saying not to outsiders but disregarding that you speak in as confident a tone as you can once you have decided what to speak because i saw you faltering in giving your points you know you are making a trying to make a point but you are faltering you are hesitating then again you are speaking if you can win over this you will certainly get more than 190 okay. is there any other question that you have in mind uh, sir uh, in general what is happening is after the interview they are asking Do you have anything to say to us, hmm. or did we miss any area hmm. where you want to talk about? Hmm. So, do you suggest us to uh, suggest us to talk about some areas which we would? I mean, you mean in the UPSC interview? Yes, sir. After the process, people ask you to say something about something. Uh, so they are asking like, uh, do you have anything to say to us? Which is very less, ah. but many a times they are asking, did we miss any area from your dev? Ah. Where you want to talk talk about or ah. tell us something about that? Maybe in those cases, if the candidate is not able to reply in most of the area, then the other candidate in which area you think you can I, questions can be asked. I think that may happen. Yeah. In the UPSC, ah, yeah, after the competition, they will say thank you. I have nothing to say. Uh, uh, Manoj was saying something. No, you complete. No, I, I would suggest that uh, you should be polite on this matter. Mm. You say that uh, I will. Uh, my daf you have seen sir and i am ready to answer anything i am free to any other uh, any other area that you would like to uh, raise with me something like uh, this broadly broad principle don't volunteer information yeah mm. the more information you volunteer the more you will get then you will be caught because on any subject questions can be asked where you won't be able to answer any subject just say thank you so much you sir. say thank you huh? i have nothing specific If the board so pleases, I am ready. Yeah, that way. Okay. Then last thing I would like to add, sir. Yeah, yes, please. See, C A G C G A. You should be clear. Yeah. C G A is, uh, of course, uh, part of the ministry and all set up government. C G A prepares accounts certified or uh, by C A G. C A G. So C A G has an overall overarching. constitutional position not only icas all the services wherever government money goes cag is there if no other even ifs ias no no service can get away even prime minister's office defense everywhere audit is there. so that that point you should be clear then another thing i would say all the services you are opting like uh, IAS, IPS, IPS, I didn't. IPS, no, Indian Foreign Service, yes. and three other services, na, no? Indian Revenue Railway Service. Management and all. All you have to prepare basics, not the depth. 
you have every chance to make it. But no, sir, <coughs> your expectations will be little higher because you are already in service. Hmm. So they will expect you that you must have minimum threshold level and you have to score higher so that you can jump to other better services what you have opted. So you have to be ready for second level answers also, not only the first level. The second level questions are more depth, in depth they want to go there, they, your exact knowledge here will be checked. First level everybody candidates most of the time they reply. But when you go little deep, then they fumble or they say I don't know or I have to read about it. So you have to be ready for the second or third level also to score, to come in the higher bracket. Yes. That is very important. Now, for example, I, I think I think you will agree with me mm. that my CAG, CGA, CAG answer could, answers could have been better. Yes. Mm. Correct? I could have made myself clear. Yes. This you were sort of fumbling yeah. at times. Even though I know the answer, I couldn't structure it. That's what I yes. Yes. He also meant, you know, that you take it slightly higher, don't start ah. fumbling. And these are areas you should have known about. Mm. You know. Yes. Correct? Yes, sir. Any other questions? Uh, sir, last time you uh, gave this feedback that sometimes uh, while I uh, hear cross-questioning, I look, I am getting agitated. So, no, this time you are it, not was yeah, it the not case? I won't say agitated, but <laughs> you disturbed. look of disturbed or disturbed confused. Confused. And confused. Okay. For that, you write yes. some questions <laughs> and write answers on some paper in, on okay. basis of your depth. So that before you going, you read those and in your own language, two, three lines about each question. See, you are already in service. Yes. You have already been in UPC. You, you, you have done so many mocks. Go through a dab once again. Yes. See if there is anything missing, just cover it. That's it. Done? Yes. Anything else? Uh, nothing else. All the best. Bye-bye. Good, Good, Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Okay. All the best. Bye. Thank you so we much. want to see your name in the top. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. All the best. Bye. Thank you. All the best. Bye.